Hey everybody and welcome back to my channel. I'm here today to film a um, an unboxing video of the May uh, Planner Society box as well as a planner setup. You guys know I always set up my planner with the monthly Planner Society box. So I have been very impatiently awaiting the arrival of this box and I have not even had a chance to look inside. I did open it and snip... Um, the sticker just so that it was easy for me to do this on camera um but i haven't even opened it i haven't even taken it out of the you know the decorative envelope um so i'm super duper excited uh if you're wondering what movie is in the background today <laughs> ronan is watching the original lion king and the two littles are sleeping so i'm taking advantage of this quiet time to film right now and uh let's just get right into it so i went ahead and i um Look at my box. This is obviously not Christie's fault, but darn USPS, man. They can never just deliver a box to me without, um, you know, some type of damage, <laughs> some type of havoc, some type of havoc, havoc being wrecked on my uh, packaging. So forgive me if I seem a little bit out of sort. I have been spending the entire day cleaning, so it's been a little bit bananas. You might also hear the printer in the background because I have um, paper printing so that I can work on orders. So let's just jump into it. So let's do this little kit first. So if you're unfamiliar, really quickly, let me bring this back. If you're unfamiliar with how um, the Planner Society kits work, she has four separate kits. I am only subscribed to two. I am subscribed to the original Planner Society kit as well as the box sticker society kit she also has a washi kit and a functional sticker kit so i don't subscribe to all four i have been considering um subscribing to the washi kit i'm just this moment in my life i'm not um adding any reoccurring bills so i'm not going to be subscribing at this moment but we will see so um I love her packaging. Usually her packaging is a different pattern than what she has like in the kit. Like there's not necessarily going to be a paper like this or something, but um, I wish there was because I really, really love this. So this is the box sticker society kit. Let me show you what it includes. We've got these really cute functional, I'm sorry, decorative stickers. And you guys, this kit is everything. I'm telling you right now, I'm going to love this kit. Don't know if I'm going to love it as much as January's. January's of 2017 is so far my absolute favorite planner society box, but I think this is either going to be my new favorite or tied with January because it has everything I love. Starting with these adorable Planner Society girls. She's my favorite. She is what made me fall in love with these kits. Um, I just think she's so sweet and she reminds me so much of my daughter. I love in this one, she's got her, her hair tie and she's got her quick uh, sweet little like heart sunglasses. I just love it and all the florals. Um, so very pretty. Here are our headers as well as some heart checklists. And if you're new to the box uh, sticker society kit, um, one thing to notice, oh my gosh, my big fat cat is trying to come over here. Guinness, there's no room for you, bud. No, there's too much stuff over here, silly boy. Okay, you can't rub up on the light either. Can you lay down? <laughs> oh my gosh. If something comes crashing down on me, it's because my big fat cat is like really trying to get over here. Anyway, there are only two sets of headers. There are today headers and to-do headers, and there's only seven of each, so you're gonna need one, another header. Oh my gosh, he's rubbing on the tripod. Guinness, get out of here, big boy. Oh my goodness. <laughs> okay, I had to pause and shoo him away. Um, like I was saying, there's only two sets of headers, so you'll need to have a, a third one, okay? Um, what I did before was I just layered some washi behind it. Here are the full boxes, just super gorgeous. Let the sun shine in. This one says, hello sunshine. I love them. I love the colors. I love the succulents and the palm leaves. And I just, it's just all fantastic. Don't come back, you silly. Oh my gosh, you guys. Here's our full heart checklist and hers are always in the style of clipboards. Guinness, you are being naughty. And they're just so, so pretty. Oh my gosh, he's gonna lay on the tripod. I can see it now. And then we've got our half boxes, our quarter boxes as well. <laughs> as well as our washing. He's trying to put his head through. 
through the tripod. And you guys, he's huge. I'm going to insert a picture and show you just how fat this cat is. Oh my gosh, he's so fat and he's going to knock this over. Okay, oh, here he comes. Come on, buddy. Let's get you out of this frame. Come on. You can't be in this video. Are you trying to steal my spotlight? What are you doing? Okay, shoot him away. Let's see if he comes back. Let's move on into the actual Planner Society kit itself. I love this envelope. The colors are so pretty. It's like, in the pictures, I thought it was definitely more yellow, but it's really more of a lime green, and I hope that that is picking up in um, with the camera. Hold on, guys. It just keeps coming. Is that everything? Okay. But it was definitely picking up more yellow like this, more like this yellow here. Um, but the, there's definitely more of like a lime green in here, which is really, really cool. This is so much, you guys. I'm like, I'm like a kid in a candy store. I don't even know where to start. So, oh, so good. It's all so good. Okay, I'm just going to push it to the side. <laughs> Hopefully it's not in the frame. I don't know if it is. I'm sorry if it is. And now Guinness is trying to get into the box, that little box. He thinks his big old booty is going to fit in that box. I got some news for him. Okay, so never has it ever come in like this packaging before. Oh my gosh, Guinness. Buddy, why are you so desperate for my attention right now? Okay, it's never come in this like packaging before. Here we go. That was a struggle. Okay, and it was on there like really, really, really tight. And so it has um, kind of bent like the corner of the paper. And this is vellum and acetate. So it has kind of like bent up the corner of the vellum and the acetate a little bit, but it's not the end of the world. So in all of the kits, as you guys know, if you've seen my videos before, you get six papers and you always get two of the same prints. Sorry, it's like a really crazy part in the movie. I'm gonna pause a second. So this first paper has tons of pink, um, some really pretty like lavender, yellow, and this really pretty like gray scale with obviously the green. And then the back of this paper is succulents, which I love. I live in the desert, so succulents are like, I love them. They're so pretty. We really don't have a ton of succulents around. I mean, I live in Nevada, but there's really not that many. You would think there'd be more. Um, and then we've got this beautiful teal. Um, which is just super, super, super pretty. It's like a real beachy color with the palm trees. And we've got like this really pretty lime green, like a polka dot, but it's more of like a dash kind of polka dot. So pretty. And then we've got some flamingos. I know there's lots of flamingo lovers out there. I am definitely one of them. Love flamingos. They're so pretty. And they remind me so much of California, like growing up, going to San Diego Zoo and seeing the flamingos all the time. Um, and then there's also like the palm trees in the background and then we've got the palm leaves and again with like the polka dot But it's more of like a dash just really 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 pretty. So those are the six paper six papers Yes, I can't wait to figure out how I'm going to line those up and then she really has started catering to the travelers notebook um the Traveler's Notebook community because she's really been including a lot of things um, like vellum and whatnot. So this first one here, which is actually a striped, I don't know if you can see with all these others behind it, but it's a striped acetate with um, flamingos. So that's really pretty. And if you don't know what acetate is, it's like a plastic paper. That's the best way for me to describe it. There probably is a way more scientific description, but that's what I'm going to use. It's a plastic paper. <laughs> and then this is a vellum. So you probably know what vellum is. It's like a very thin paper. I don't know what it's made out of, but it's really pretty. I always remember it being like on top of invitations, like real fancy invitations. There was vellum like on my graduation invitation. Um, and this again has the palm trees with the, you know, the two palm trees, which is very like classic. And then we get this acetate with the girl. Oh my gosh, I love this, you guys. I love this so much, this acetate with her and her sweet dress with the palm leaves, just so pretty. And then we get this gorgeous vellum with the flowers, like I die. And you can even lay these on top of each other. They're just so incredibly gorgeous. I, I just don't even know what to do with my filth. Look at this, look at how pretty that is. 
You put the palm trees behind this, like just so, so pretty. Sorry you guys, in this movie, this is the part where Mufasa is dying and it's so loud. And I forget how much I sing in these movies. Okay, so let's see what's next. So we've got um, a stamp, which is adorable. And I like that she's she includes the stamp because then you can like decorate her dress however you want, her hair, do it any colors. And then we also have this really sweet notepad, which I love that when she includes the notepads that are the girls. Again, January, my favorite kit, had a notepad that was a girl. I actually think I have January back in my planner, so you'll see it here soon enough. Uh oh, I hope this loud movie isn't waking Griffin up. Okay. And then we've got, um, it looks like a little planner bow with this really great, um, really great succulent backer card. So this is cute. You could hook it on your TN if you were, you know, we're using a, a traveler's notebook. Or it comes with this, which is what I would use because I use a planner personal planner that would be cute and it's also if you look you can actually open this um, and you could hook this onto an Erin Condren or you can hook this onto an Erin Condren like that so lots of different ways for you to use this really great bow you can take it off and put it on a clip and put in your kids hair put it in your hair um let's see what else we've got here we always get divider tabs which are great um, and it looks like these divider tabs might actually have a different pattern than the actual papers. So she always includes divider tabs and uh, divider labels, which is great. This is really loud. Hold on, guys. Okay. So it looks like what she did was she, um, each divider tab, if you can see here, is different, you guys. So she used to include like the six papers and you would get two per tab, but these are all different. Every single one is different. Some look like the papers and some obviously don't. Like here's a pink one with the succulents. Here's a purple with the, um, yeah, the trees. Like they're all different. These are awesome. And this is going to make it really hard for me to choose which ones I use. I might have to put like 12 tabs, even though I only use three. <laughs> and then, um, what do we have here? I think these are, oh, there's a butterfly at my back door. You guys, there was a hummingbird at my back door yesterday. And, oh, look at that backer card. And it literally just like hovered outside of my back door, like staring at me. It was really cool. Okay, so we've got three shaker cards. This one says, you've got this sweet girl. That's cute. Really cute. It's got like little flamingos. I like that she includes these because I don't, I wouldn't make these. Oh, there's four. This one, well, it seems like they got a little bent up, um, maybe from the heat. It's really, really, really hot outside. Uh, I think this says you do you. This really got kind of warped. Um, but it's like in the, in the hundreds here. So that might be why. And then there's this pocket one. Oh, these are two pockets. Oh, cute. So they're both striped. This one is pink and white striped with the succulents. This is pink and white striped with the, um, why can't I not say palm tree? What am I struggling with? So those are really, really, really cute. Love those. And you guys, she included one of my all-time favorite things, which is why this might become my new favorite kit. She included puffy stickers. You guys know I love, I love puffy stickers. Like these will make your dashboard so dang cute. Hello today, planner beach babe. So cute, bring on the sunshine. I just love these. And I think this says let's plan. What does the back of card say? I don't know, we'll figure it out later. I think it says let's plan to go to the beach, but I don't know. We will have to see. And then we have die cuts, which we will open up and look at all of these. Oh, I can see three girls right off the bat. But we'll, oh, and a cute little flamingo. We'll open these when we're actually doing the planner setup. We have another girl paper clip, which I love. And this one, her hair is down. I think, is this like from the back? Because there's the bow. I don't know. But it's adorable. I have a couple of her other ones, too. We get this gorgeous jewel pen how cute how darn cute is this like 
Yes, I love jewel pens. And then we get some stickers. I'm saving my favorite part for the last, if you didn't know, but you probably have already seen her full kit reveal. Um, but we get some stickers. Um, I haven't seen this much packaging before. Like, there's definitely, there's things that are, you know, more packaged than normal, which is fine. You know, it's protective. So you get some really great little font stickers, some more girls, cute little doors, succulents, and I have a little door again. Cute, 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 some functional, and some more functional, cute. Those are really, really great. And then my favorite part of the whole kit, our washi tape. Like, you guys, when I saw all of the elements of this kit put together, I'm pretty sure I had a bit of like, I don't know, a fangirl moment. Like I fangirl out all the time. But this, this is like beyond perfection, you guys. This washi tape gives me life. Look at this. I mean, seriously, can we talk about this for just a second? Let me get this other one open. Can we just talk about this? Like the perfection of this washi. It is so, I hope that's in frame. I don't even know if it is. Let me move it up a little bit because I'm not sure if that's in frame. <laughs> but seriously, this washi tape is everything. I mean, the colors are gorgeous. The girl is gorgeous. The florals, like, I love it. I love it so much. And I can only imagine, I don't remember what, the washi from the washi kit looks like, but if this is what the washi in the regular kit looks like, I can only imagine how incredible the washi is in the other. And look at how much you get. Like, that's my favorite. She always jam packs her washi rolls. So those are fantastic. Thank you, Christy, for by far one of my absolute favorite kits ever. Now let's get this in a planner. All right, so I'm back uh, to do the planner setup now. It's actually the next day. Um, I took some time to make my dividers and everything, and then I had to go do swim lessons and homework, and then life took over, and then so here I am the next day. And I have filmed this intro, I think, five times now, and every time I start filming, the baby beside me starts talking to me. So we're just going to roll with it. The house is full of people. My husband is cooking breakfast. The boys are watching TV. And we're just gonna roll with it. We're baby, we're dog sitting for my in-laws. Like it's a, it's a zoo. So, and the baby just knocked over the dog food. So what are you gonna do? Um, I went ahead and made my dividers off camera. Like I said, these are the three papers I chose. And this month I decided to just do my tabs already connected to the divider instead of using these tabs. And that's because um, I really liked the papers and I wanted the papers and I wanted them in this specific order so hope you guys don't hear all that jibber jabber in the background and then I also decided this month to make a dashboard and um, I'm really excited the reason I did that is because I really liked these papers and uh, I wanted I, I wanted to use four instead of just the three so I cut these with my silhouette and I did a round edge um, I already hole punched them and they're ready to go. So let's, um, I'm going to start just by labeling these dividers and I have a couple of different options. So obviously I could use the stickers that came in the kit and then I, she also included these um, divider tabs, uh, which I think I might want to use these. Let me see if I can, you know, make this work. Okay, so I think I might want to use these stickers because I like that they have the banana leaves in the background. So I think I'm going to do, um, for the first tab, I think I'm going to do make today count. 
so I don't peel. Oh, I don't know if it'll fit actually. It's actually really long. Let's see if it'll fit. Okay. And I like to do this sometimes because um, it's just different. You know, you don't have to just use like a generic divider tab if you don't want to. Um, and then for my monthly section, which is my second section, I think I'm going to use. Uh, hmm. I think I'm going to use the um, hashtag planner girl. And then for the third divider, which is where I keep Etsy notes and um, it's kind of just like a brain dump section, I think I'm going to use the, um, I'm going to use this one that says Planner Addict, just because I like that it is bold and it's a different, it's a different font, so you guys probably hear Griffin coughing in the background. I think I told you guys when I dropped him off at school the other day, there was a kid there coughing his lungs up and um, just a matter of time, right? That was Monday, this is Friday, and there he is now with the same exact cough. So, gotta love it. Gotta love when parents send their sick kids to school. Makes me super happy. Okay, so there's our dividers. Let's go ahead and do our dashboard. Now this dashboard I am super excited for because we have got so much fun stuff. So definitely gonna use the puffy stickers. Um, and normally I would put like a journal card, but uh, our journaling cards this time are these uh, shaker dashboards. So that's not, you know, I can't, I mean I could if I wanted, I could try to like put this down with like washi tape or something, but I don't think I do. I was thinking more along the lines of adding one of these sweet girls from the um, from the post-it note. So let's take a look and see, because she's just so cute, right? What if we just stuck her here? Let's see what other, oh, you know what? We also have the die cuts, right? Oh, bless you, buddy. We also have the die cuts, so let's see what we've got in here. The baby is picking up each individual piece of dog food, which by the way, just so that you can get a better mental picture, it's the tiny bite. So they're pretty small and there's a lot of them. So this should be interesting. This should be interesting. Okay. I'm wondering, now that I'm doing this, if I want to layer some more of the paper on here. Oh, my husband just brought breakfast to the table. I might have to pause and eat and regroup, and I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm wondering if maybe I want to layer um, some of this vellum. Um, like... Because we don't have like a, ooh, you okay, bud? Because we don't have a, what's the word I'm looking for? I am looking for the word journaling card. <laughs> My husband's laughing at me. It's really early, you guys. And if you're a parent, you know that sick kids don't sleep very good. And so, um, very well. And so, Griffin was in our bed a lot last night and this morning. And then he was up for the day at 5.30. So, so was the rest of the house. Not really. So were my husband and I. But, needless to say, it's been a long day already and it's only 8.30. Okay. So... Um, what I'm thinking about doing, I just cut that so that I could get like an idea of the size, but I'm obviously I'm not going to use that whole size. I don't need this much of the vellum. I just want it like, just to kind of offset some of the pink and give us a different look, you know? Let's see if we added that. And then I... I also 
want to see. Okay, so what if we pulled in a little bit of this? You guys know this is the process, okay? So if you're new to my channel and you've never seen one of these videos, just be prepared. It's a lot of trial and error. I put things on, I take them off, I put it back. It's just it's just a process. So just hang in there. I promise we'll get to the finish line. It just might be rocky. All right. So I'm trying, I like this big, I like the size of her, but I like her skirt. But I also like the size of the, like I like how big she is. I kind of want her to be like a focal point, you know? This one is the piece of note pad, if that makes sense. Okay. And then, um, now I'm just going to do some layering. And we've got a lot of these really fun script die cuts. So now we just have to figure out which one we like. Like, I really like the happy planning. Although this planner beach babe is too dang cute. And so is the bring on this. Like, they're all cute. I, how am I going to pick? How am I going to pick? For sure, we're going to use the bring on the sunshine, right? Oh, guys, and we have the stickers. Oh, my gosh. How are we going to decide? Okay. Let's look at the puppy stickers, too. So many options. Okay. So first, first, let's, my little baby is very loud. I'm sorry, guys. You guys already know this is how these videos roll. This is nothing new. Let me find the washi and let's put down this piece of vellum. And as you guys can see, like none of my, um, none of my cuts are like, you know, perfect or anything like that. That's just not how I like it. I like them to kind of be organic and messy. There we go. And I always put things down <clears throat> with washi tape because washi tape peels up so easily, especially um, this washi tape. So I'm just going to put this here. And I actually put it a little bit off of the dashboard so that I could trim it because the edge wasn't straight. So. That way I could trim it. You guys know I always love to use these paper doilies. I just think they're really pretty and very sweet. And um, they just add a really pretty element, I think, to, to the um, design. So let's figure out now where we want to put all of these. Okay. So we've got... I don't want it to look, you know, weird. I want it all to kind of, to all flow. So let's see how we can layer this. <clears throat> and I'm literally just going to continue to play. This reminds me of like a vacation in Palm Springs. But I'm just going to continue to play until I, until I get it, you know, exactly where I want it, where I feel like it looks the best. Um, let's see. What if we did, like, instead of, what I wanted was this to, like, kind of layer, but it's too, a little too big. But if we used the puffy sticker... That might work, but I don't necessarily want it to cover the word sunshine. But then there's like that empty, there's like that void right there. Mm -mm -mm. Okay. Let's figure this out. What if we moved her up here? 
and we layered. Hmm. I see. I don't want it that far down. What if we layered it on top like that? That's kind of cute, right? And we could layer, let's see. Oh, we have this smaller die cut. Um, I'm sorry guys, I'm not talking as much because my brain is going. But this is literally how I do this every month. I just <clears throat> keep moving stuff around until until I get it someplace I think looks pretty. Which typically doesn't take me very long because the her kits just come so, you know, well done that they're easy to okay so I think I'm gonna put this down because I that way I can start layering on some of the puffy stickers so let's just double side our tape sorry the dog started barking so basically what I did was I just double sided some tape on here so that I could lay these down and I'm just gonna double side some more tape over here. Okay, and I'm just gonna layer that. I really like the way that looks. All right, now I think I'm gonna fill in some of the voids with um, some of these smaller pieces, uh, like the smaller stickers. We also had the stickers that came with the kit here that we can fill in the void with as well. So let's see what smaller stickers we have here. All right, so we've got the cute little Cadillac. That's, I kind of want to use the puff stickers though, like, oh, that poor baby's cough. Okay, what if we used What if we use one here? It's cute. Okay, bud. It's about time for his next breathing treatment. And there's Colby taking his obligatory drink. You know, he does it in every video. Wouldn't be a video if he wasn't taking a big old Colby-sized gulp. So, there is that. Those are not regular eye drops. My, my husband is putting, um, uh, what are those things called? Yeah, but they're like eye drops for your contacts, like when your contacts get dry. Okay, <clears throat> I'm wondering if I want to put this like sunshine sticker. Is this getting too busy? I have to ask myself. Because now it's getting a little top heavy. Like I feel like I like it up here, but then I feel like we need something down here. What if we layered a die cut cut kind of funny, huh? Look, it like cut off my P and my L. What do you do? Alright, so what if we uh, layer this up here? Do we want to layer that down there? Oof. Baby, 
We also have these. Let's see. I also had to pause the video because I had to eat a little breakfast. Okay, so what about this planner girls are the prettiest girls? What if we layered that down here? Maybe I'll layer it on a piece of washi. Well, it kind of blends in though, doesn't it? Um, oof. I've got this washi I could layer it on. Hmm, it's not a bad idea. Let's see how long the sticker is. I hope that's long enough. If not, we'll just we're gonna layer it on, so it's okay. Okay. Is that is that good? <clears throat> is that too much? Did I do too much now? Did I put too much on there? You know how that happens like so quickly you go from Oh yeah, that looks cute too. Okay, why did you put that last piece on there? Let's see if we add a little flower. Or should I put it over here? No, that's good. Okay, I think that's it for the dashboard. I think if we add anything else, um, it's just going to look more busy than it already does. So we still have a ton of these, which... I think I'm gonna decorate my personal planner for June, my monthly, with these stickers. So I will show you that in another video. But I think that is it for this dashboard. So let me show you what that all looks like. Turned out pretty cute. This divider label is really crooked. It's the joy of having laminated dividers. The stickers just peel up. <clears throat> So there are those. And now let's go ahead and move them into the planner. Okay, so I told you guys that I had put January's uh, <laughs> January's kit back in. I, I'm, it's my favorite, you guys. I'm just obsessed with the colors. And although this one is definitely right up there with it. So I, you won't see me moving this one out for a while unless the next one is just breathtaking. Which it probably will be, I mean. You know, the thing with subscriptions, you guys, if you're if you're ever on the fence, like you're not you're not gonna love every single subs every month. I'm telling you right now, that's just not possible. And if you believe that you're gonna love every single one, then you know, or if you feel like you you should love every single one, it's it's just not gonna happen, unfortunately. Because she designs different styles and different stuff, you know, so that she can hit all the different, you know, people and all the different styles and tastes and things. So you're not always going to love all of them. Like there was one that was anchors and although it was very pretty and it was pretty, it was not my fave. I'm just not, I'm not really into like the anchors and stuff. So that was not my favorite but it was still very pretty. I don't even know if I, I think I still have that full kit. Like I don't even think I ever put it in my planner. Um, but I wasn't gonna end my subscription because I got one kit that I wasn't crazy about because there were so many others that I loved so much. So, okay. And Griffin's watching Brother Bear in the background. So if you need something to make you feel like you're a kid again, there it is. Let's go ahead and put our jewel pen in. Okay. Now let's fill our pockets. Um, and I didn't say, because I forgot, but I am using my Cream uh, Webster's Color Crush. And it's getting a little beat up because this is my favorite planner and I've been using it every single month. And I love it and I carry it with me. It's really easy to tote around. So um, if you were wondering which planner I was using, now you know. Okay, so I'm trying to figure out what I want to put over here. I like this shaker card I like the color I don't necessarily I don't like the phrase but it doesn't matter does it really I mean 
let's be honest, it doesn't really matter. Okay, so now we have our sticky notes, which remember I told you January's had a girl as well, and I loved it. So now you see, like, I, there's like a theme for the kits that I love. It's a color scheme, like I love bright, and I love pinks, and I love ones that are very heavy with the sweet girl, because she's just so sweet. I'm going to actually put her like right in the middle of the, um, of the shaker card, because I'm not, like I said, I'm not really the biggest fan about what the shaker card says, but I love the colors and everything, so I'm just going to kind of put her right in the middle to cover that up. And then, um, you know, it's Disney movies. There's lots of singing. Sorry, guys. And now I'm going to try to stuff the pockets. And I always try to give it a little bit of height by using these backer cards. Sometimes the design on the back of the backer card is different than the design on the papers or, you know, I'm going to cut off planner society. I do like to keep it on some stuff, so I'll probably leave it on the, um, I actually might move this down because she's pretty tall. All right. Um, okay. So I'm trying to think what I want to put back here. I'm wondering if I want to put more of the vellum if that would be pretty back there. I like the the black, the element of the black, so I guess it's probably going to physically pain you guys that I'm just willy-nilly cutting this vellum, but there's really no other way like that I imagine myself using it, so this is how I like to do it. And then I'm just going to kind of eyeball where I want to cut it. I'm just feeling it in the back like an idea, rough idea of where the planner is. And again, you guys, you can do this so much cleaner. You can get out. Oh, the dogs are playing. Seriously? Hold on. Okay, so I cut the vellum um, and I put it in there. So now I'm wondering like what else. I kind of want to put some pink back there. So I think I'm going to grab the leftover paper and put some back there. Okay, so I just trimmed a little piece of the pink paper with the flamingo. I'm going to stick that back there. And then I also pulled this backer card. I like the green element, like the green floral. This is what the washi looks like. I think I'm just going to layer that back there. And then we'll figure out what else we're going to stick back there. I'll probably stick some stickers. Um, because I just think it's cute to have them back there. And Okay. There's add a little color. So now let's figure out what else we're going to put in these pockets. I'll show you what I pulled. I pulled some cute paper clips and stuff. Plus we have all the stuff that comes in the kit, but I did pull this black ooh, trash. I did pull this black floral paper clip from K and Co XO and I definitely want to use it because I love the element of the black. Um, man, I don't like to cut this, but it's so big that I might cut it. <laughs> I think, what if I, I don't know if I'm gonna cut it. Maybe I'll just fold it for now. Cause what if I change my mind and it's cut, then I can't put it back. And you guys know I change my mind a lot. So let's stick this back in here. There we go. Okay. But I like the black. There we go. I like all the touches of black in this month's kit. It's really pretty. I think it just makes the other colors, the brighter colors, really pop. And then I also have that one in cream, but it's smaller, so we'll see. And then I pulled these two little pink paper clips that I got from Nikki Plus 3 when we did that swap box. And this one is the Flamingo, which is like perfect, right? The color's a little brighter, obviously, than the other pinks in the kit, but... I like it. All right, so let's see what die cuts we want to start stuffing in here. 
they're all pretty small this year or this month and you know that's fine there's that's fine it just it's not as easy for layering like I like when we have some bigger pieces so we've got this one that's kind of bigger um, but that's pretty much it <clears throat> the only other two were these that I already used I feel like this girl is not she's not really working for me I know that's that's like not good because you guys know I'm obsessed with her but I feel like she is just taking up so much room and it's next to impossible to fill the pockets with her up there so let's try putting her back here I've tried doing this before and I didn't like it I'm not saying I'm not gonna like it now I'm just saying we'll see we're gonna stick her I mean you can't even really see her so we'll see if she stays back there but that does give us a little bit more leeway when it comes to stuffing these pockets so let's see yeah bud Oh, okay. I'll be right. Okay. All right. Now let's try to stuff these pockets. Let's see. Now we could use like this bigger die cut of the girl. Um. I have these yellow flowers from the previous month's kit and I kind of feel like I could squeeze these in here. Um, I want to put something down here. I'm thinking... I really like this one and we don't have this one in here but I wish that it had some pink like a pink element to it um, what if we brought this in okay so I'm coming back to this planner setup it has been um, it has been like I don't know maybe four or five days. <laughs> um, I was just feeling not uninspired. That's not the right word. I just was feeling like I was a little bit in a planner rut. Um, I felt like I was doing the same thing over and over and over. So um, I took a little bit of a break and I put it away for a while and I left it just at what it, I mean, what it's at right now is beautiful and it could stay this way and look great, but I just wasn't feeling, I don't know. I just wasn't feeling super, um, creative. I felt like I was just kind of doing the same old, same old. So I took a little break, but I'm back and we're going to, we're going to do this. Now, what I was thinking, um, it's been a little while. Like I said, what, what I was thinking was that I actually might want to change the planner that I have it in. I might actually want to bring it into this yellow recollections planner. Um, I showed you guys this in a haul quite a while ago and I haven't had a chance to use it yet. So I think I might want to move into this yellow planner and we'll see how that looks. So I'm gonna do that really quickly and I'm gonna speed it up just to save some time because I know this video is going to be long. So let's just move it on over. Okay, now that I have it in here, I don't like it. <laughs> I don't like it. I think it's too, the color is like too bright. I don't know, it's not, uh, I'm not feeling it. So, <sighs> let me think about this for a second. Okay, so I don't like it in this planner. I was thinking maybe I would try to put it into my Planner Society um, planner that I've never used. Um, let me just move these planners all around here. They're all over the place. And um, let's try it in here and see what we think.
Okay, so I actually really love it in this planner. Obviously, the cover is, you know, different. Um, it's like a darker per, uh, floral, but I love this, the inside, and I love these, like, nudie pinks together. So, um, I definitely think I'm keeping it in this planner now to just figure out what I want to do with the pocket situation. Um, let's slip our pen in here. Super cute. And we've got our notepad. <clears throat> and I'm thinking maybe now I want to stick her in here because that's cute. And I have that little black bow, I'm sorry, floral clip from K and Co XO. So that looks cute there. Um, and then I put away all of the other stuff. I put it all back into the bag. So let's pull all this back out and see what we've got going on here, what we have to work with. I had cut up some vellum and stuff. Now I'm thinking I don't want to put it back there though because of the beautiful, uh, what are those? Bows. <laughs> you guys, I'm always, I, I am at a loss of words a lot because I, I don't know. Sometimes I just, I don't think about what it is that I'm trying to say, you know. I'm very tired today for some reason. I got a decent amount of sleep, but I'm just, I don't know, I'm just feeling very drowsy, so... We'll see. Okay, is that too much yellow, like, on top of each other? Maybe we should layer the yellow and the cactus, maybe. That's cute. Let me pull all this stuff out. I literally just put it all back into this little bag. So, I don't even really remember what we had, because it's been so freaking long. Um, so, we have these cute shaker cards, which don't really work out now because um, because we're using this planner and this planner doesn't have like a little pocket. But I think I might put this back here. And maybe we can layer something on top of it. Maybe this bow. Is that like too much. That's this bow's from One Creative Bee, by the way. You guys have seen this bow several several times now. It's kind of cute, like peeking back there. And then um, I did pull in this little bow from Planning Zen, and we also have this paper clip that came with the kit which is also fabulous. So let's get this pretty girl in here. Mm, I don't know if I like her down there. And I had pulled some other ones. I pulled this flamingo, but I don't really like the pink the pink is like really bright, so I don't feel like it really matches very well. Um, I also have this gold butterfly, which I always think is super pretty. And I pulled in some new paper doilies that I got. I think I, I'm not sure if these are opened yet. Let me, I always buy paper doilies, you guys, for both, you know, planner setups and that kind of stuff, but also because I use them to package my orders. So these are this really pretty, um, like, construction paper color, but they also have the gold foil polka dots, which I really liked. So let me see if I layered this on here like so and if I put oh it looks cute I think 
And then maybe if we layered something right here, something floral and pink. Let me see what else we have in our die cut situation. Um, hold on a second, Stead. <laughs> okay, one, one second. Yes. <laughs> yes, hold on. I don't think I like that there. Um, let's see. Oh, this one's cute. Oh, except you can't see the wording anymore. Mm. Hmm. Okay, let me think about this. Okay, so maybe if we'll... Stick this back here. I put, I moved the little butterfly down and then put that back there for a little bit of color. And I'm trying to figure out like what else I might want to, I feel like this space right here is kind of empty. But I don't really know what else I would want to put there. I do have this other girl from a previous kit, but that's not gonna work. Um, let me see here. What if we moved? I wish there was something right there like that I could stick that to. Okay, buddy, when I'm done. Okay. Um, just at this point, I am just stacking things. Ooh, what if I brought in this sparkly bow? Is that too many bows? I mean, is that such a thing? It's too many bows. Hmm. Okay, so I found my black bow from K and Co, which is actually like gorgeous okay so I turned the camera off and I just finished the pockets because I was really struggling and I didn't want you guys to have to sit through that anymore so what I did was I put this big black bow from K and Co XO I love the touch of the black in this so brought that in so those two are from K and Co XO I also layered um, another of the gold doilies in the background um, and then I have this in here folded and then I put this little die cut here. Um, and I really like the way that looks. So I think I'm gonna leave the pockets alone. I'm not gonna mess with them anymore. I also made a little acetate today marker um, that I wanna go ahead and put in here. So there is that. And although the, the gold polka dot would have been just fine, but I wanted something I think a little different. And then I was wondering if I should move this little, if I should move this bow up here because the green I think would be really pretty. Let me see. Mm, maybe not. I wasn't crazy about it. What if I moved it over here? I like putting the touches of color in the back back here. It just kind of pokes through the side. And maybe we'll add the pink bow up there. That's cute. Okay, I like that. Um, and then the last thing I want to do is add, I think I want to add the, ch I don't know, I keep going back and forth if I want to add this. I don't necessarily want to have something dangling off my planner like when I'm going on this trip with the girls yeah I think I'm not gonna add the bow for right now I think I'm just gonna leave it just the way it is and I'm really happy that I decided to go with this planner I like that it's black I like the touches of black oh it seems really uh oh you guys I don't know if this is gonna close 
Oh my gosh, that's like, can you see how thick that is? That's like barely closing. <laughs> I think it might be time to remove some of the previous months. Um, definitely think it's time. So I will do that off camera, but here is my final spread, my final layout. I'm happy to be in a different planner. I feel like it was it wasn't working for me and I couldn't figure out why and now I realize it was the planner so I'm glad I switched that up I still have so much left over you guys it's not even funny I have so many die cuts and papers and vellum and just like so much stuff um, but I'm really loving the way that this looks so um, if you liked this video please give me a thumbs up sorry this took me so long to get up I know you guys have been waiting I've gotten a lot of comments from everybody wondering where it is and I'm sorry it took me so long. I will do my very best to not wait so long in the future, but um, definitely give me a thumbs up if you like this video. If you wanna see more like it, make sure you subscribe and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Have a great day, take care, bye.